Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the Living Environment Regions for January 2017. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregions.org and down here you click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get to work. Here's problem seven. A student uh, received the flu shot in the fall. During the flu season, the student caught a cold. The most likely reason the vaccine he received did not prevent the cold was that, uh, well, his illness was not caused by a pathogen, or two, he did not get the vaccine at the right time of the year, or three, his body produced antibiotics in response to the vaccine, or four, the vaccine he received contained only flu virus antigens. Well, uh, definitely try the problem on your own. See if you get the same answer that we do. Um, it requires a little bit of background knowledge, but only a little bit. Um, and if you do get the same answer, definitely hit the like button to let us know. Uh, so let's see. Um, uh, so let's see. He received a flu shot. Uh, during the flu season, he caught a cold. And then the most likely reason, the most likely reason the vaccine he received did not prevent the cold. Let's see. His illness was not caused by a pathogen. The common cold is caused by a pathogen. That That's something that... Uh, that's false. Just false. Patently false. The common cold is caused by a pathogen, just like the flu is caused by a pathogen. Okay? So, he did not get the vaccine at the right time of the year. Uh, well, you know, you should generally get the flu shot in the fall uh, for the for, before the flu season. And that's usually when they develop the new strain, uh, the new flu shot for the next uh, predicted strain. Um so he did get the flu shot in the right time of the year, but that's not the reason anyway. Um, there, there's, let's, yeah, so that's not the reason. Let's see. He's, his body produced antibiotics in response to the vaccine. The body does not produce antibiotics. Body does not produce antibiotics. At all, at all. The body does not produce them. You go to the store. Well, you go to the doctor. The doctor prescribes you antibiotics, and then you go to the pharmacy, and you pick up antibiotics, and then you take those antibiotics. Uh, so that's where you get antibiotics from. Okay? So then the only answer left is four. Let's see why that is the answer. The vaccine he received contained only flu virus antigens. Yes, it's a flu shot. Uh Flu antigens is not the same as the cold virus. And I should say plural, viruses. Um, uh, they're, they're just not the same virus. They're not even really uh, related much. Uh, so that's the, definitely the reason. It's, you can't – if you get a vaccine for a flu – that protects you against the flu and sometimes also extremely closely related uh, flus, but it does not protect you from the cold. It doesn't at all. Uh, and we don't have really a cold uh, vaccine. Uh, by, by the way, interest, uh, I do recommend that you actually read about flu viruses and flu vaccines and cold viruses and cold vaccines. If you happen to be one of those people that, that believes that, that, for example, vaccines cause autism, uh, let me let – me, uh, uh, because we are in a bio class, you know, they don't, they don't cause autism. Uh, the, the person who, who did that research didn't do that research. He faked it all, uh, made tons of money on books and lives in a castle in, in, in Europe now. Unless, unless, unless he's passed since you've watched this video. It's 2017. The guy's filthy rich. Um, so don't listen to some guy that just made up some data. Uh, and don't listen to some movie stars or even presidents just because they think that they cause autism. The the link to autism and, and, and uh, flu vaccines has been disproved tremendously. Uh, and uh, it's assumed that when you take this test, you know that fact. Uh, and if you don't believe that fact, it's assumed at least during this test that you – understand that that's the current understanding in science after all this is a test of your understanding of the current trends in science right uh also actually the the vaccine article on wikipedia is actually really cool uh, like uh, i found out from that article at 
well, when I read it years ago, but that the word vaccine comes from the word cow. Uh, V-A-C-C is the prefix. Uh, if you speak Spanish, vaca is a, is a cow in Spanish, uh, for example. It's because uh, there was a there was a smallpox virus that infected cows, and it turned out that if people took the scars from the smallpox virus from cows, cowpox, and rubbed those those calluses on their skin, they were protected from the human smallpox virus. So that uh, is where that that's where the first vaccinations came from, and that's where the word vaccine comes from. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this conversation. Uh, I, I definitely liked it. Go to Wikipedia, check out the flu virus, check out the cold virus, see how they work. Check out the flu and cold vaccine, uh, check out the flu vaccine. Uh, definitely go get your flu vaccine. Um, uh, and thanks for watching. If you are watching from our channel, the next video will start in a second. If not, go to our channel, go to the January, 2017 bio regions section and watch all the videos there. They'll appear for you in sequence. All right. Thanks for watching.